High school students in Belport walked out of class today and staged a protest just like Hawthorne students did last week. As News 12's Carolyn Gussoff reports for us now, students say they were inspired by their peers in Hawthorne. Classes stopped abruptly at 12 noon, not by request of the teachers, but by popular demand. The entire high school population simply stood up and walked out. They gathered here on the outdoor track for a show of unity with their teachers. Ronald Hobson organized the rally. Well, in my English class, we were talking about uh, what they were doing out there in Hop Hall, and we seen that we was going through the same thing they were, so we decided to have a walkout at 12 noon. We just I think the teachers deserve a lot more than what they're getting. The 400 teachers in the South Country School District have been working without a contract for a month. At issue is money. We just played um, East Islip on Saturday at, on this football stadium. And we had a banner up there saying, showing the teacher scoreboard. The East Islip median salary is slightly in excess of $49,000, where in South Country it's $34,000. Students say the tension between teachers and the board is beginning to impact upon their education. With um, them picketing now, they're tired, they've got a lot of extra work on their hands, and they aren't able to give us our, the full attention. I look up to them, and it's sad to see what they're going through now, because they're, they're really trying to do their best job, but it's hard to with the strike and, and their contract problems. And... Teachers who say they were unaware of the plans for a walkout weren't exactly complaining. I think this... Uh, indicates to the uh, the board that the kids are on our side. The kids are going to go home and tell their parents that something has to be done. Hopefully the parents realize that, that we don't want this to happen and we like a settlement and maybe they'll sit down and come up with something. The student protest won't make any difference if you ask the district administration. Negotiations will continue and a state mediator is being called in to settle the teacher dispute. But when you ask the students, they say it is bound to take its toll. They're planning another walkout, and next time they don't plan on going back to class after just an hour of rallying. In Belport, Carolyn Gussoff, News 12, Long Island.